This is a typical example of a frequency distribution. Um, it gives a length of 30 crocodiles. Now it's divided the length into groups and for each group it said how many crocodiles um, have lengths within that particular range. The first sort of question you're going to be asked is about the modal class. Which one is the modal class? The modal class is the one with the highest frequency. So we go down here, 11 is the highest frequency, so this one here is the modal class. So we just write that down, 190 is less than or equal to L is less than 200. Next type of question is, in which is the median? In which class is the median? Um, well, there's 30 crocodiles, so the middle value is a fifteenth and a half. Yeah, we can work that out by doing 30 plus 1 over 2. That gives you the 15.5th value. So if we look for the 15th and 16th value, um, well, here's four values. There's another three values, so that makes seven values up till there. Um, then we've got 11 more values. So at the end of the 200 mark, we've got 18 values. Well, both the 15th and the 16th value must be somewhere in this um, class here, between 190 and 200. So, so that's the median class. Um, again, it's the same one in this case. It's not always the same one, but it's going to be around the same area. Another question might ask you to calculate the range. Now we cannot work out the exact range because um, these are, are class intervals which go and say how many um, crocodiles had lengths within that particular um, class interval. So it could be that one of these five crocodiles actually did have the 220 um, centimetres as their length. Um, it could be they're all at 210. Um, same with these four crocodiles here. It could be one of them actually was at 170 centimetres long, uh, but they might have all been 180. So in reality, when we talk about the range, we can have a maximum range and a minimum range. So I would say the maximum range would be the 220 take away um, 170, and the minimum possible range, um, it's possible, very unlikely, but it's possible it could be as small as 210 take away um, the 180 there. Um, so this would give us a range of, of 50 centimetres, and this one would give us a range of just 30. So the range is somewhere between 30 and 50. Another typical question is estimate the mean length of all the crocodiles. Um, if I do this, I must show all my working. Um, I'll move that up. And I'll start off with a, a copy of that table. Now to, men to work out the mean length, um, I've got to work out the total length. Now I know four crocodiles were somewhere in between this, but I don't know exactly what the measurements were, so um, I've got to choose the middle value. To get the middle value I add them up and divide by um, two. Now I should do this always just in case um, these are non-equal class intervals. Um, in this case they are, so it should just be okay to um, put midpoint. We have the midpoint and the midpoint of this is going to be 175, midpoint of this is 185, midpoint of this is 195. Yeah, I'm just adding them up, dividing by, by 2, so that's going to give us 205, and this one's going to give us 215. Now we've got the midpoint, we're going to assume that these four crocodiles um, all had the length of the midpoint. So their total length is going to be four times that midpoint. And likewise here, we've got the midpoint of this second class, we're going to assume they were all 185. So to get the total length of those three, we do three times 185. In fact, we're going to do uh, the frequency times the midpoint for all of these to find the total length of the crocodiles in each category. Then we're going to add them all up to get the total length of all 30 crocodiles. So if I do this at the side, the um, I'm going to call it midpoint, I'll call X, and I'm going to do frequency times X. So here it is, I've multiplied 4 times 175 to give 700, I've gone that all the way across to get these for the frequency times the midpoint. If I add those up, it gives me the total length of all the crocodiles. Now to work out the mean, 
the mean is the total length um, total length divided by number of crocodiles. Now most people get this wrong because they get the total length right but then they go and think one, two, three, four, five. They divide by the number of categories, but it's the number of crocodiles. And we're told in the question the number of crocodiles was 30. Um, otherwise, we just add these up and we get 30. It must be divided by the total number of crocodiles. So we do that and we get the mean length equals 197 centimetres. Now that makes sense because it's one of the middle values here.